Alright class, nice job on your bell work for the day. That was really good. So today, for today's lesson, we're going to do something a little new that you might not have experienced yet, but it may sound complicated when we first go through it, but it'll be really easy and it'll really help you get the vocab down. Um, so yesterday we started our unit on the growth of industry, and today we have about 10 key terms or key vocab words that we need to kind of define before we can start the learning process. And how we're going to define those words, we're going to use something called the Freyer model. A uh, Freyer model is um, probably something you've never heard of. It's just a different technique for you to learn vocab words. In the Freyer model, this is what you do. You put, your, you put your vocab word in the center. So for example, today we're going to do the, def the vocab word monopoly. And around monopoly, there are four different quadrants. The top left is definitions. Top right is characteristics. The bottom right are not examples and the bottom left is examples. So basically what you do with the Freyer model is you fill out this chart and it helps you get a more complete idea of what um, the vocab word in the center is. So the best way to probably start off is let's just do one together as a class and then if that goes well we will do one. I'll break you guys up into pairs and you can work on different vocab words. So for, my, so for our word, so on your sheet of paper write down the word monopoly in the center. Let's start with the top left quadrant, definitions. So in the definitions box, we're looking for two different definitions. The first definition we want is definition in your own words. And then the second definition we want is a definition from the textbook, or even the official definition from the dictionary. So in your own words, who knows what a monopoly is? Yes, Katie? OK, sure, it's one, one business. has control in an industry. Very good. Does anybody else have a different definition of monopoly that might work that you think is a little bit better than that, or does that sound good to everybody? Sounds pretty good? Okay. From your textbook, the definition of monopoly is, so write this one down as well, the definition of a monopoly is total control of a type of industry by one person Or one company. So let's make sure we star or highlight the textbook definition and your definition as well. So good. Our, our, our in our own words definition was pretty pretty close. Um, the textbook definition just extends it to either uh, one business or one person having total control. All right, good. So next, let's think of with the def now that we know what the definition of monopoly is, we can probably get the characteristics down of what a monopoly is. Um, so who, who has who can tell us what's the characteristics of a monopoly? Even if you've never heard of the word before, just by the definitions to our left, what do you think it is? Zach. Okay, good. Controlling. And make sure when, whenever I write down on the board, make sure you write down on your paper as well. Because this is your example one, so. All right, who has another word? Stevie? Power? Very good. John? Oh, I'm sorry, what was that, John? Rich? Okay. Does anybody have something else? What was that? Who said that? Was, that? was that you, Nate? Money? Okay, sure. I, I mean, I would agree with the money part. I mean, there's different monopolies and for different reasons, but it all has to do with money. I would definitely agree. Does anybody else have a characteristic that we think that we're missing here that's really kind of crucial to what a monopoly is? What was that, Sarah? One person has control? Yeah, I mean, that's what we said in our definition, but... We should probably reiterate it. 
one person or company has control? How about one more? How about one more? I'm looking for a word that starts with D. Um, I kind of really think of what a monopoly, what they really do to the competition. What was that, Tom? Dominic? Very good. There it is. Dominic. Okay, excellent. So, so far we have a definition of what monopoly is. We have it in our own words as well as the textbook definition. Now it has some characteristics of what a monopoly is. So it's controlling, it has power, they're rich, it has to do with money, it's usually just one person or one, not industry, but let's change that to company. And they dominate the competition, that's very good. Okay, so what do you guys think so far of the Freire model? So far so good, pretty easy to understand, anybody having any trouble? Okay, if anyone has any questions, make sure you raise your hand and we'll take care of it for you. All right, let's move on to some examples of a monopoly. Who, who thinks they can name an example of a monopoly? Let's see. Kevin, what do you got for us? Microsoft. All right. Who has another one for us? Paul, what do you have? Google? Okay, good. So these are current monopolies. Does anybody know of any kind of historical monopolies? that we may be talking about in this class? Somebody said Rockefeller, I heard it. Was that you, Jake? Very good, Rockefeller, yeah. He is he's one of the key guys that we'll talk about. Um, he built his monopoly in oil, we'll learn out, and he, he is a very rich man. He's, he uses his money. He's, he's kind of a controversial figure just because he is very rich, but the way he got rich was kind of, he stomped out a lot of people to get there, but he also donated a lot of money to charity. Um, anybody else have an example of a monopoly? Maybe just one more. Uh, anybody? How about what's usually on a lot of people's feet, what I have right now? Would you say, Pat, Nike? Very good. Yes, Nike. They are very big in the clothing and um, shoes industry Nike. So these are all good examples of what a monopoly is. So we have we have co we have companies that are examples of monopoly: Microsoft, Google, Rockefeller, Nike. And what they all have in common is they share these characteristics. So like, okay, so yeah, so all these corporations, they all or people, they all share these characteristics that we talked about up here. They're controlling. They have power. They're powerful. They're rich. They're money. They're usually just one person or one company in their um, in their field. They dominate the others. It's definitely true when you look at any of these four examples that we came up with here. All right, in our last um, portion of the Freire model, so we know what the definition of a monopoly is, we know what the characteristics are, we know some examples of it. Now let's get some non-examples. What, so what a monopoly isn't, per se. So, what, so based off what we know so far, who can tell me what isn't a monopoly, or what does, it, what does a monopoly not represent? Um, let's start with you, Jennifer, what do you got? So you so multiple businesses. I like that. Um, I see it. I see kind of a lot of faces that are a little unsure. So if if there's total control of a type of industry by one person or one company, what isn't there a lot of in that kind of firm? So there's okay. I don't know who said, I think it was Mark back there, but he said that um, something to the fact that when there's, when there isn't, so a non-example would be sharing, I believe is what he said. This is very true. There, when you have a monopoly, you don't share the resources or when there's, um, you don't share the, I guess the field would be the better word for industry, for when you're, when you're a corporation. There aren't, for example, there aren't like, 15 different um, softwares for computers is pretty much either Windows or Apple, so there's only two sharing. So with that in mind, if there's only two, so there's a lot less. Um, what was that, Shannon? Competition, very good. Let's everybody right now, if you can just take your pen and underline competition, or actually just let's just circle, circle it. In with the monopoly, there isn't competition at all. That's that's probably the, one of the key ideas that. We should probably even add up to our, in our own words, or let's into our own um, 
into the definition in our own words. When there is a monopoly, there isn't competition between different businesses. So under our own definition, let's draw a little arrow to spread no competition. Excellent. I think that looks pretty good um, for monopoly. I know it's it gets a little bit harder to think of non-examples because you know what it is, but that's um, it's pretty good for the first time. Does anybody have any questions or concerns about the Frayer model? Is it a little too confusing? Should we go over it again? Is there any? Is there one of these four corners or boxes that we don't really understand what to put in there? No, so far so good. Okay, how would you all feel about doing your own example of the Frayer model with another key term? Maybe just to try it out, and then I'll come around and I'll, I'll come around and make sure that you're getting all the points. If you have questions, you can just ask me. Okay, sounds good. So right now, I'll hand out the rest of the key term sheet sheets, and we'll break up into groups of let's go two to three. I'll let you pick your partners because you guys are trustworthy and you've proven to me in the past that you can.